folks, Captain Mike here, back at the dock, just making sure I log all my catches on my Got One app. Now, it, we get a lot of questions about the Got One app for all the work we're doing, uh, both with the Albi project from ASGA and also the Striped Bass Citizen Science project for the Mass DMF. In both applications, or, or both organizations, use the Got One app to log fish. Now, I also love this app as my personal log. And I just want I'm going to sit here for a minute as I um, update the catches I got today and tell you everything you need to know about this app. Now, for starters, um, it's a very simple app. That doesn't mean it's simplistic. Um, it's the beauty in this app is how simple it is, uh, which makes it really easy to describe how cool this app is. Well, there's uh, three ways you can input your catch. You can manually enter it with a tap to log. You can use a voice command, or my favorite way is uploading a photo into the app. Now, the cool thing about uploading your photo is you have your location data, um, your time, you know, the metadata that's embedded in the picture. And so when you upload that picture, it's going to capture the wind, the tide, your location, you know, all kinds of atmospheric. Uh, conditions uh, from your trip certainly going to log the date and with the picture you uploaded it's going to capture the catch now one cool footnote about logging your catch with a photo this app I don't even know how many years back but it goes back at least three years because that's how far I've tested it now we do a lot of filming or I do a lot of filming for with, with both Hoagie Lure Company and Salty Cape my two different hats I wear and uh, my YouTube library has been pretty much my only log. I'm sort of a disorganized person when it comes to keeping a paper log, but we have plenty of iPhone pictures um, taken on the boats, various boats, various trips throughout the way. And so I've been building my log um, retroactively, just going back and up. So it's amazing. And I'm learning some cool stuff. For example, one, uh, the machine is a lot better than my memory. There'll be times like, oh, I remember we caught this you know, big striped bass. It was down by Cutty Hunk and so forth and so on. But when I look at the picture in the app, I find out, well, that wasn't Cutty Hunk. That was Gayhead. I'm mixing trips. So it's really handy uh, just for you know keeping my story straight um, in my own mind so I know where to go. And so this is a great app because it serves as sort of a roadmap too. So it uh, helps you find... Um, you know, hot bites you may have had, um, you know, the year before. So it's sort of like a roadmap of, you know, this time last year. It's a good starting point. Um, then also with photos too, if you have a friend that has the Got One app, it's a great way to share a hot tip. You just text your friend the picture for where you were and that's, you know, the hot tip. And uh, you don't have to explain a whole lot. They can import it into the app and have all the information that you're, of course, willing to share. Now this is the basic free app and just the free app out of the gate is phenomenal. There's a paid version coming and I've heard a lot of the um, details coming through. Uh, one that's really cool is a storybook that's produced um, at the end of the season. It'll summarize your year and review, you know, provide some of the key pictures. So you have a nice keepsake at the end of each season. So that's very cool. And last, but certainly not least, at least in my opinion, as I become you know, very focused on promoting you know, best practices for catch and release. This app serves as a hub that interfaces with a lot of different um, science organizations that um, use the app as the, the platform to aggregate data and track the studies. For example, um, I was involved with an ALBI study. All the information got logged through the Got One app, then also the Mass Department of Marine Fisheries, that app, um, which we logged today um, you know, on our shoot with some how-to video filming we're doing. And uh, we had some big striped bass today. So I was really excited to upload that in the app, and not only for my personal log, but it's really good catch and release data that the state of Massachusetts is using to predict survivability rates of striped bass. So the app, get the app, it's awesome. Not only is it a great log for your own use for tracking your catches, but again, you can really help participate in a lot of cool marine science studies to help maintain you know, the stock status of all these species we love.